Hey y'all, what's going on with you? Hope all is well. Look, didn't even get the. I just got done shuffling. Abundance, okay? This is a very magical, abundant time for you, okay? Abundance and love. Like, look, look. Abundance and love, abundance and finances. Like, somebody here is a jewel. Like, abundance and crystals. Like, like I'm telling you. I'm telling you, everything that you ever wanted is now here for you. Like, some of you had, you know, had a lot of work, you know? You had, you went through a lot of stuff. You had a lot of um, work to do on yourself because of reparenting. You had to heal your inner child. You had to learn to love yourself. Um, you had to forgive your parents even if they weren't sorry. Because um, some of you have been through some traumatic things in your life, okay? Well, some of you... Your parents passed away um, young or one of your parents. Some of you were raised by your grandparents. Some of you were raised by aunts and uncles. Um, some of you was raised by yourselves, had to raise yourselves. Some of you had to, was raised by your siblings. Take what resonates, okay? Because it's just giving the energy that things may have happened to you as a child. Some of you could have mommy or daddy issues. Or some of you um, just, you know, experienced some bullying. Whatever it, is, whatever it was that you went through that you carried the weight of all these years, you're finally letting it go and so that you can finally experience freedom from it. Because it has been a burden on you. It has been a weight on you. Um... We, we got the gardener that always come out with this deck, okay? So somebody's finna tend to their garden or if this is something that you're needing to do, okay? You have been planting seeds for a minute and now they're finally sprouting, okay? Now you're finally ready to see them blossom into this beautiful garden, okay? You've been tending to your garden now or you got somebody that's trying to help you tend to your garden. Some of you could be actual gardeners or want to get into it but maybe not know how to or whatever, we got forgiveness here. I forgive myself and I am forgiven. So listen, all this forgiving, like, spirit forgives you because you're here to learn a lesson. Spirit knows that. It's about you forgiving yourself. Some people just have a hard time with forgiving themselves for mistakes that they made. First of all, you're a good person if you even have any type of uh, um, sadness or guilt about the things that you have done. Because people who who are like soul gone, they don't feel guilty about what they do. So if you're feeling guilty even about it, it shows that you still have a soul. You have goodness within you. So it's time for you to forgive yourself. You're the only one. You're, you and your thoughts is your biggest critics. And you manifest what comes out of your reality. If you stop caring about what people think, the shit that people be saying, whether they judging you or whatever... It ain't, you ain't even gonna care about it. <laughs> You're gonna look at it like from a higher perspective and be like, that's so sad. They so worried about other people's lives. Just like people on the internet be trolling people, stuff like that. They so focused on other people's lives. Meanwhile, their life is going to shits. It's time to focus on yourself. Like, focus on yourself. Reparent yourself. Relove yourself. There's a lot of people out here in this world that need to, to really like love themselves, but everybody ain't meant to ascend in this lifetime. Look, Connection and commitment is it's going up. It's happening. Y'all could have been um, sharing music messages to each other. Like some, somebody could be from the Caribbean or like um, something like that. Like um, some type of island girl, Hawaii, whatever, island boy. Um, but y'all are two peas in a pot. Y'all have this song and dance that y'all do. That pull on each other heartstrings. Y'all both could be musicians. Y'all both could be meant to be stars. Y'all could end up doing music together. It could be love music. Like y'all just even if y'all just listen to music and not musicians. Like I feel like it's a song that you may have showed your person or your person sent you or whatever that really resonate and. I feel like they're sending you music messages right now to show you that they want this commitment, that they're feeling connected to you, that y'all are aligned, and they're finally emotionally free. They're emotionally available. 
and they are actively manifesting you okay they're feeling very chivalrous they want to open the door they want to pull out your chair this is somebody who wants to be such a gentleman towards you because they were in distorted energy the last time that y'all had experienced each other and they are not like that no more they want to show you this new version of them that they are beginning to learn or that you never had um you never seen <clears throat> What else, Spirit? What's going on? What is going on, Spirit? Yeah, the Knight of Cups, okay? With the Ace, the Knight of Cups with the Ace of Wands, okay? This is a brand new beginning. This is a new start. Did they want to come to approach? Like, this person is feeling very, like, they have this love. It's like this energy of having this the strong love that they have for you and they're so proud of it like this person got that cup up in the air like come on horsey come on like you know what i'm saying like so that they can get to you and be able to present this cup of love but they don't want the contents in it to fall out so they're a little afraid like they're not afraid of falling out of love for you but they're afraid of you not seeing the whole version of them that they've become and so <laughs> This person is very passionate about you. This this has came like a tower out of nowhere, an explosion. Um, they want you so bad, like, and they love you so much, okay, um, with this abundance energy. And they want this new beginning, okay, and they're they're taking strides toward it, they're, towards it. They're on their way towards it, okay. This person has been healing themselves, healing their inner child, healing their emotions, okay, healing their family leg, um, lenity okay they're healing their bloodline they're healing things that have been out of balance for a while they're seeing through the illusion that their family dynamic has okay because it's, it's a lot about family here too as well also they want you to be their parent uh, oh what they want you to be their parent <laughs> they want you they don't want you to be their parent <clears throat> somebody could have been dealing with somebody that's like that like you feel like you're dealing with a child but in this case, it's not that. Like, I'm going to be your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your everything, baby. So it's like it's like the things that you would share. Like, you know how the playful energy that you play with your siblings. Y'all will have that together. It's like it is a nurturing energy that you give off that's, that is mothering or fathering, you know, protective and stuff like that. So it's like, yeah, y'all will have those qualities that y'all learn to be, become, or... You know, y'all learn from other people with each other. But this is more like of an energy of um, wanting to wanting to be that, wanting to build that energy with you, wanting you to be their child's mother or child's father so that y'all can experience that life together and help co-parent or reparent yourselves together it's like y'all had to learn a certain amount by yourself so that when y'all come together y'all will be the best parents that y'all can be due to the healed childhood that's within you because sometimes you yell at your child or stuff like that because of the unhealed trauma that's within you whether it was because you got yelled at a lot or you wasn't talked to a lot like we all still learning as we're going you get what i'm saying so don't beat yourself up about it it's time to forgive yourself um, yeah, but this person views you as a person that they want to build a legacy with, okay? They see you as the mother of their children or, or the father, okay? Um, what's this forgiveness? <clears throat> what's this forgiveness? What's this forgiveness? Two of Cups with the Five of Cups, they regret not showing you the love. Like, I feel like they threw you to the wayside because this two of cups just flew over there and it kind of flipped to the side. Like, they didn't know that you were their soulmate. They didn't know that you were their person due to their unhealed trauma. They were attracting a certain type of people in their life and then somehow they manifested you and you manifested them. So your frequency was low enough to, you know, link up with them. Their frequency was high enough to meet up with you, right? Y'all met each other at, like, the perfect time for each other and... I feel like when y'all linked up or whatever, it was meant for 
y'all to love on each other. It was meant for you to spark something in this person. It just, they weren't ready for what you were ready for. So they kind of like, they threw the embers away for, you know, uh, the devil. But, um, or they threw the emperor away for the devil to take what resonate. But they didn't know that at the time. Because they couldn't see things clear. They had a lot of unhealed trauma that caused uh, many illusions in their life. But the good thing about this is, is they're finally realizing that they have been, it's like taking accountability for being the drama starter <laughs> or causing conflict, causing problems in this connection, okay, that was unnecessary. But they regret that, Five of Cups. Like, they regret reaching out for people, places, and things that didn't even have the love for them that you had, okay, the Two of Cups, okay? They were reaching for something that was out of reach, something that was not for them to have. When all they had to do was look right there and there go their two of cups. But they couldn't see it. And so they're wanting forgiveness. They're hoping that you forgive them for this. Forgive them. Like some of them could be crying. Like they, you could just feel like your eye tearing sometimes. And like you didn't yawn or nothing, but yet your eyes is tearing. Like, yeah, some of them don't cry in silence. Nobody knows this but me. Or these four walls. What's that? How that song go? Yeah. Like nobody knows what they're feeling, and like they're hoping that you forgive them because they understand what this connection is now. But it took them some time to, to really figure this out and see through the illusion. But now that they can see, they like, I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> like, I'm on my way. Like, don't let none of this love spill out. Like, they ain't even giving no love to nobody else for real, for real. Like, I'm not saying this person don't love nobody else. But, like, they want, they got all this love for you. Like, okay. They see you as the person that they want to be laid up with on the couch cuddling. Like, this could be somebody that goes out all the time. But, like like wouldn't mind being up in the house under you because i feel like you gonna make things fun like you're not gonna be no you know what i'm saying take what resonate now but some of you isn't far from boring and it's crazy because some of you could be in this energy of feeling like damn you could have used to go out all the time but now you stay in the house now you buying clothes to wear around the house you're like oh that would look cute to wear around the house because where would i go in that you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like things, is you just in a different time, different energy, and you had to prepare yourself. Because when you met your person, you could have been in the energy of party energy. And that was your way of coping with with your childhood. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, and, and people could have judged you for that, you know? But um, everybody has different ways of coping with and different survival tactics. But I just posted this today. Um, you could release now... The things, uh, what what I say? What I say? You could release that energy from being in survival mode and feeling like you just have to survive. You can finally live now. You can let that go. Okay. You can let go of the trauma and stuff by just forgiving yourself, forgiving others, even if they're not sorry. You know, you don't have to reconnect with certain people, but you do have to forgive in order to heal. I say that all the time because it's gonna stick. Okay, it's gonna. It's going to plant a seed somewhere, okay? But this person wants this connection. They want this connection. They're thinking about this connection. They, they want this commitment. They're finally emotional, emotionally free, emotionally available. They're sorry for not being available for you when you called, when you needed them. Like, this person is in deep regret about treating you like that shit. Throwing you away for what they thought was a two of cups. And it wasn't nothing like that. It was deception. Okay. So they coming back to offer you something. Okay. Something could spend a little bread on this. This could be something that you could hold, touch, feel. Okay. But this is something that they want to present to you. Nine of pentacles. They are single now. They could be about to communicate some. You can be getting a, a truthful message. This could be a text message. This could be a call. This could be a link up. Okay, that they've been holding on to for a long time. All right, they want <laughs> they want you to know that they want to start a new beginning, that they finally learned their lesson, all right, and they're ready to rush towards you. 
okay in a truthful way though also a lusty way a little bit sexual but it's a lot of love here too as well um sacred lust okay because if you're dealing with a twin flame that shit is not the same all right <laughs> But this person is missing you just as much as you're missing them. They feel the connection. They're finally in alignment with you. They had to go through a whole bunch of different things, just like you had to go through a whole bunch of different things. And now y'all finally learned the lesson. So don't allow any negativity or any outside energy to distract you or destroy your inner peace at this time. Say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.